Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and in today's video we are going to balance this equation where we have H2SiCl2 plus H2O on the reactant side, H at Si4O4 Si plus HCl on the product side. So to start with balancing this equation, we first need to know the total number of atoms on both reactant and product side. This really helps to balance this equation within minutes. So always try and uh, figure out the total number of atoms on both these sides because it becomes, becomes really easy to balance it out. So for hydrogen, we have um, 2 plus 2, 4 over here. Do not forget about the hydrogen atoms that are in water molecule over here. On the product side, we have 8 plus 1 because we have 8 hydrogen atoms over here and 1 hydrogen at atom over here. So we have 9 hydrogen atoms for the product side. SI, we have 1 atom over here as you can see. And for the product side, we have 4. For chlorine, we have 2. And for the product side chlorine, we have only 1. For oxygen atom, we have 1. And for here, we have 4. So uh, once you know the total number of um, atoms on both this reactant and product side it becomes really easy to uh, balance this equation so um, we will first start by trying to balance this SI atoms on both the sides so to balance it off we need to uh, have four SI on the reactant side as well so for doing that I am going to add a coefficient 4 before this molecule so now we have four SI atoms on both reactant and product side but adding this coefficient also changes the number of hydrogen and chlorine atoms so we have to update that as well so on reactant side now we have 8 plus 2 10 hydrogen atoms chlorine we have 2 into 4 8 chlorine atoms and um, we yet have we yet we are yet to balance uh, the oxygen and hydrogen atoms so the next step would be to try and balance the chlorine atoms on both the sides i'm going to balance hydrogen and oxygen atoms in the end because it is uh, the tricky it keeps on changing and it is quite tricky if you uh, start uh, balancing it at the start of the equation so always leave hydrogen and oxygen atoms for the last so for balancing the chlorine atoms we have eight on the reactant side and we only have one on the product side so let's add a coefficient eight before hcl which will give us eight chlorine atoms but at the same time it does change the number of chlorine atoms on the product side so now we have eight plus eight 16 hydrogen atoms on the product side but we only have uh, 10 on the reactant side so now if you come to uh, oxygen over here we have 1 O over here and we have 4 oxygen atoms over here so to balance it out I am going to add a coefficient 4 before H2O to have 4 oxygen atoms on the reactant side as well now doing that we will have equal number of oxygen atoms on both reactant and product side which is we will have four atoms of oxygen on both the sides but in turn it will also change the number of atoms for hydrogen. So now we have 4 into 2, 8 plus 8 that is 16 hydrogen atoms for the reactant side as well. So now if you look at this equation it is completely balanced by adding coefficients uh, before this molecules and this is the balanced equation of H2, H2CiCl2 plus H2O. It is quite tricky and it can seem challenging at first but always try and start by looking at the number of atoms on both reactant and product side and start balancing the atoms a step wise always leave hydrogen and oxygen atoms for the last and this way you will be able to balance an equation. I hope this video comes in handy for your next test and if you like this video make sure to subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.